వంశీ సాయిరాం హార్టి వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ సత్సాయి లోక్సేవ గురుకులం షెల్ బి గో టు స్పేస్ నౌ యా గెట్ రెడీ విత్ రాకెట్ యా గాట్ రాకెట్స్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ యూ మే సే దీపావళి రాకెట్ ఇన్ దీపావళి రాకెట్ యూ లైట్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఇట్ గోస్ ఆఫ్ బట్ దిస్ రాకెట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు సిట్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద రాకెట్ ఓకే వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ నా just imagine suppose you are in a rocket and going to space how many want to go to space it's very costly affair not cheap and you do lot of tapas for that okay one day will come okay so we have studying about stars why i am telling about rockets is we are studying about stars and the solar system so already we are introduced to the some topics what are the things we have studied astronomy is a branch of science a branch of physics you can say it deals with the celestial objects celestial means what like a sun moon stars galaxies and so on so what are they situated they are situated in the hemisphere whole space is like a hemisphere why you call it hemisphere because earth is a spherical one not exactly spherical it is a what you call geoid shape like apple you have eaten apple yeah so earth is in a almost spherical shape because at this spherical we are seeing a space also spherical and in the spherical background we see some objects correct they are called celestial objects and in the celestial objects we have stars moon planets satellites and so on and also we studied about uh, the beautiful satellite called moon okay in the moonlight you enjoy peace you enjoy everything becomes calm quiet but do you know that uh, the moonlight is not original correct moonlight is got from sunlight so it is non luminous body it only reflects the sunlight that's why it is very calm quiet that's why you people enjoy it so many poets have written so many poems on moon and its movement and also we discussed about phases of moon how how it will be waxing and waning the size of the moon increases from new moon day to full moon day decreases from full moon day to new moon day all this happens due to the movement of the moon around the earth and the moon along its axis also we have studied that in celestial objects includes stars galaxies planets sun solar system etc etc about which we are going to study later and some special feature of the sun what is special features we can see only one face of the moon back side we can't see i heard about uh, one project means sending rockets to the moon i heard about yeah so our india has sent a, a project called anybody knows yes chandrayana repeat chandrayana first chandrayana second first is already over second is mainly based on the back side of the moon how it looks how it works and so on and let us see the home assignment now first question how many are written the answers all okay very good what is astronomy mention any two advantages study of the celestial objects and the associated phenomena is called as astronomy 
So, associated phenomena means what? Means connected about their movements, their brightness, all those things are called associated, means connected or related. Okay? That you already study in astronomy, is a branch of science. And what are the advantages? The advantages of studying this astronomy are the passage of sun. Passage of sun is also important. We have got 27, uh, you know, Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika and so on. Depending on the passage of our sun with the different uh, stars, we name it as Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika, Rohini, Brigashira and and so on, what you call nakshatras in Kannada, correct? So, movement of the sun also is study there, stars also is study there, then uh, movement of the moon also, planets also in the sky help us to devise calendars and almanacs, what you call panchanga, correct? Calendars also. In the beginning of the year itself, they tell, especially it is made from Yugadi to Yugadi. So, before Yugadi only they plan out when will the, when will be the lunar eclipse, when will be the solar eclipse, when is the rainy season, when is the winter, when is the summer and when is the full moon day, when is the new moon day and different, different festivals like Dipavali, Dasara. All that will be told in advance. That is the advantage of the study of astronomy. Also, understanding of climate and rainfall patterns. When will be maximum rainfall? Do you know the place where is the highest rainfall in India? Yeah, Moshin Ram. Correct? And in Karnataka, Agumbe and uh, climate changes also. You might have heard every news in you know, radio and television they announce. There will be lot of thunderstorm, there will be lot of rains, a lot of showers and uh, even the avalanche, so nothing but the movement of ice and so on. All these are told which are helpful for Sowing the, the choice of the crop, sowing and choice of the crop. Is it not? In the rainy season, they usually grow what is called as rice or maize, rice and uh, what you call as paddy. Then uh, wheat also, jawar also, ragi also, and so on. And in winter, they have got some fruits. In summer, they have got different type of fruits, vegetables, and so on. So, all these can be fixed on the basis of astronomical studies, fixing the dates of season and festivals. Festivals like Deepavali, Buddha Purnima, Mahashivaratri, Dasara, all these are fixed on the basis of the study of astronomy. Okay? Coming to second question. The festivals of India are linked to the phases of the moon. Give two examples. So, almost all festivals in India are celebrated according to the phases of the moon. For example, Buddha Purnima is celebrated on full moon day. Mahashivaratri is celebrated on the 13th night of waning moon. And Bakrid. And one more Muslim festival is there related to the study of moon, correct? So, all these are based on the movement of the moon, okay? You will have one more question. We can see only one part of the moon as seen from the earth. Why? Answer is period of rotation and revolution. What do you mean rotation? Going around the axis. But revolution, going around the planet namely earth both are same that is why we can see only one part of the moon correct 
so that is about 29 days okay now topic for today so an activity on the rotation of moon then about moon surfaces and landing on the moon is a historical event very very interesting one okay so these are the things we have to study today so before that we'll see see this beautiful blue color what is that moon what is this yellow color here earth that is what is meant by satellite satellite means the heavenly body which go around the planet not only moon there are other also so here so this is earth and moon will be going around the earth and what does the earth do earth will be going around the sun also so sun also going around the sun also going around the galaxies like milky way and uh, moon will be going around the earth earth will be going around the sun so one all are relative motion you are also in motion you may say no sir i am sitting in a table i am sitting in a chair even though you are sitting you are in motion like this whole universe is in motion no 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 i am fixed the table is fixed the door is fixed the window is fixed and all even though they are fixed they will be in motion because there will be electrons like this going around the nucleus correct so the moon revolves around the earth the earth along with the moon revolves around the sun so this is the sun this is the earth and this is the moon so earth and the moon and also the other seven planets also go around the sun so they are continuously movement okay and uh, a circle of about 1 meter diameter is drawn on the ground okay so we have to draw a circle of 1 meter diameter okay then one of the student is made to stand at the center of the circle you revolve around the your friend in such a manner that your face always remains towards him so what you must do there will be one circle you must draw 1 meter diameter how do you draw it using compass correct big compass you must take and then you must make a, a center in the middle and you must make your friend to row, go around the earth for example okay when you go around this there will be two movements one is along its axis second is going around the planet maybe earth for example so the moon the moon revolves around the earth in a similar manner it's very simple you can make out correct okay so this is the surface of the moon you may ask who has taken this photo from where they are taken we would which you study little later so this is the upper surface of the moon you see some pits here why that pits p i t s they are nothing but these pits you know they are called as craters how are these craters formed we call it as craters these craters are formed when other heavenly bodies like uh, asteroid or satellite or uh, you know meteor etc when they attack the surface you know there will be a big hole formed that is what you call it as craters the surface of the moon has many craters of different sizes 
some craters are you know huge some kilometers in diameter even in earth also there are a lot of craters okay it is a large number of steep and high mountains also sometimes you have very high mountains also just like our mount everest in himalayas in moon also it is there some of these are as high as the highest mountains on the earth like uh, kanchanganga correct k2 and so on the moon has no atmosphere that's why you have to carry oxygen without oxygen you can't survive correct you have to carry in cylinders because it has no atmosphere and one more interesting thing is you have only water little water will be there in the moon surface and one more interesting thing is the gravitation is very very less 1 by 6 of earth that means if your friend or you are weighing about 60 kg let us suppose of course you may not be 60 but there will be there some uh, a boy or a girl of 60 kg if you take him to the moon how much he will weigh only 10 kg so 1/6 of the earth's gravity you can find in moon so what happens there when you go there you will be floating so nice can you imagine suppose you are sitting in a room now the table and chair table also floats chair also floats you also float everything floating sir want to come near you sir also floats you want to catch you he cannot catch you because you will be in motion sir also motion door table everything so nice can you imagine so that is one interesting thing you must note about moon in spite of all these man has conquered the moon or man man has entered the moon surface for the first man on the landing on the moon come on anybody here he has a very special type of dress special so- shoes and a special gloves first man to land on the moon is come on neil armstrong n e i l neil armstrong is the first scientist of which country neil armstrong i think some of you may know it if you don't know you note down the name first man on the moon it's a historical moment you can see the video there is a one uh, seven minutes you video how the man has landed on the moon and the scientists were crying can you tell me why they are crying can you imagine we cry for silly silly things but here scientist when neil armstrong landed on the moon surface started crying what type of cry is that and that was a historical day july 21st 1969 you may not done that is about uh, 55 years back july 21st american armstrong astronaut we call it as astronauts what is the astronaut the man who goes into space is called as astronaut just as you you know drive a cycle you are called cyclist you go on a motor bike you say motorist correct and if you go in aeroplane you call it as captain and if you go on a spaceship you call it as astronaut how many want to become astronauts ask oh, of course one in crore may become astronauts Neil Armstrong was one such who landed on the moon for the first time he was followed by Edwin Aldrin there were three crew men we call it as crew men one was inside the spaceship only and one started walking after his walking the second one also came down so they are called crew men and uh, please read some books on this 
videos also available. You search for the interesting things about date. Okay. Armstrong proclaimed that these famous words. When he just landed on the moon, he proclaimed, he announced, that is one small step for man. When he got down the spaceship, it was Apollo 13. He said, it may be one step for a man, but one giant leap for mankind, he said. A giant leap because nobody had done such venture earlier to 1969. Only on that year, they made what is called as giant leap. Means big step they are taken, big jump. The spacecraft was Apollo 11 and they prepared and launched a crew of astronauts to the moon. The American, uh, you know, spaceship. And what do you call the spaceship of Russia? Yes, you call it as Sputnik. Sputnik we call. Okay. America was the first country to send its man to the space and uh, to the moon, of course. To the space is Yuri Gagarin. So, this is what he did, what they did. This is Neil Armstrong. This is Edwin Aldrin. So, what do they carry? Every nation who lands on the moon will carry a flag, the national flag with the big stick. Of course, you may say, who will see it? They send photographs from there. Beautiful photograph they send is how the photograph was sent here. Of course, not with ordinary photograph, special camera they have. See, this is the American flag. They are landing it or they are uh, fixing it. For fixing also a lot of problems are there, it is not easy and uh, everything will be floating, even they also will be floating, they are tied to the spaceship, otherwise say, space will be go off, so that also is tied. So that is about the landing of the moon, you just go through that in detail yourself, okay, and let us see home assignment, how is the moon's surface? Who and when was the first landing on the moon by man took place? What was his remark? Okay, come prepared for these answers. Let us see what Bhagwan Baba says. A person is born not to go in quest of material prosperity. He is born to go in quest of their divinity. So you have to go to the divinity. There is one source of energy, love, peace within us. Not, you know, making money, wealth, or you know, land and all that, vehicles and all that. They are also needed supporting to it. But main purpose is to know oneself. Okay? Come prepared for the home assignment. Thank you.